Celestina's new groove. You wanted to see me? I have an illegitimate request, but it can only be completed by someone I trust. You have dealt with a fair share of secrets I thought of you. As a return to Hogwarts soon for an important visit, I need someone to escort them from the train station and make sure they arrive without any trouble. Due to this guest notability, there are those who would be quite interested to hear of this visit. So I hope to save our guests the trouble and offer them some peace of mind. I'm sure I can help. Who am I meeting? Someone famous, it sounds like. I'm afraid I've been sworn to secrecy until our guests have arrived. Alright, I suppose a few hints couldn't help. So here's what I've get figured out so far. I know she's female, as you referred to as she. You also said she was a child prodigy and a griffner like me and a griffner. If the press is interested in her, she must be still quite famous. Does that mean you have a guess? Celestial Warback sends the name. I'm afraid at this point I can only tell you that was an excellent guess. To avoid extraneous attention, your charge will uh, be in disguise when she arrives. You, sh you will recognize her by her distinct feather boa. And will she be expecting me? I've told her I'm sending one of my most gifted students. When you see her, simply use the phrase, such thrills await. I can remember that. Uh, before you leave, you may require some assistance on your journey. I must empathize, empath empath empathize the importance of choosing the right friend to accompany you. It should be someone you can trust and who will be attentive to the sensitivity of this matter. Telbo is the one of the most tight-lipped wizards I know who can surely handle one more secret. Now that you have chosen a companion, you'd better hurry along. Alright, I'll get Talbot and head straight to Hogsmeade Station. Thanks for joining me. I knew I could trust you and your calm nature. Sure to put our guests at ease. Said the steam alumnus, uh, we are here to ask you. We'll be wearing a feather boa. Feathers, you say. Once we spot a feather boa, all our questions will be answered. Do you see anyone wearing a boa? Sweet to sweet, uh, what a pest. This is exactly the kind of attention we are here to help our guests avoid. The feather bull, uh, her face is covered, but that must be the guest Dumbledore sent us to meet a mystery within the mystery. Hello, I'm Dr. Stane. I'm going to us to escort you back to Hogwarts. You must have the one witch. I'm sorry I was waiting for a friend. Is your friend wearing a feather boa? It was something I was supposed to say. Such thrills away. Oh, wait, how wonderful to meet you. Any friend of Dumbledore is a friend of mine. I'm not sure what to say. I normally don't say much. And it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry to miss your action before. There are so many reporters around who would love to get to the bottom of why I'm visiting. That's alright. We understand. But speaking of reporters, we saw Rita Skeeter buzzing around. 
Uh, just a moment to go. Now that we have found you, we'll be better hurry back. Thank you for safely escorting me to Hogwarts and helping me escape. You're welcome. I'm not sure where his halber went. One moment he has, he was with us, the next he was gone. That's quite alright, I'm used to it. I can't believe I finally got to meet you. And now that we have proven yourself trustworthy, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. It's a very personal visit for me, as you know, how rumors spread, especially when Rita Skeeter's evolved. Then, just between us, I'll tell you my reason. Lately, I've been feeling out of touch with myself, a bit of a beater with other bats. When it comes to music, my ideas to, uh, can be feast or famine, but this straw spell lasts longer than usual. I've been out of, uh, on a bit of an emotional roller coaster lately. So you thought you might find inspiration by returning to your roots. Hogwarts is where I first found myself as a sinner. I only hope I can do it again. To speak frankly, to spark my creativity, I want to hold a special initiate intimate concert for the students and the faculty. You can bring your friend, the mysterious one, what was his name? I hope so, but the truth is I already have us concerned about my show. I need your help to make sure it goes well. And the ilk uh, always looking for some reason to claim I have lost my step. If they see me like this, it will discover I have one idea, so I'll have a field day. But secrecy has its costs. I have to travel without my back and main cheese. Uh, Rita would have identified them immediately. Now I'm without backup for the show. Who's going to send my famous harmonies? What a positive outlook you have now. I know why Dumbledore looks so much, likes you so much. I know just the back and sinners you need, the fog fire. I'm sure they would be the perfect acquaintance, accompaniment. Of course, they will be the sweet more than half of them are fogs. Oh, I'm feeling better already. What's that? Uh, when I was a student, my favorite teacher gave me the opportunity to showcase my talents. I'd love to do the same for a talented young student. Perhaps you have a trusted friend who may be the right for the job. All my friends are quite talented in their own way. I'll write to a few of them and see who's interested. If I can see all your friends' talents, it will be easy to pick a... So, so Lewis to join me in the fog fire. Thank you for gathering on short short notice. And one of you will be rewarded with a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'd like to hear a bit more about the reward. For now, I have been asked to be discreet, but I can tell you one thing. Whoever's chosen will be, get to perform with a world famous talent. Provided you are alright with that level of secrecy, let our audition begin. You friends are quite, all quite talented with the range. My only concern is while the talent is equally impressive, none seem very interested in sending. Wait, is this all about sin? No thanks, that's not me. This show needs a solo system I can showcase to my teachers what did for me. I need someone with raw natural talent just waiting to be discovered. Uh, who belongs to that beautiful barren tone voice? I have never heard it before. Can you dance like a hippogriff? Ma 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 ma. Barnaby, I hope I'm not interrupting. Uh, this stage is all yours. You have a rich, son sonorous voice, 
And yet you didn't audition with the others. Your voice says otherwise. You simply must be my soloist. Yeah, uh, Celestina Woback. I'd be honored to s honored to sin with you. I can't sin. You just will. I only sin for now. Now you will sin for all of Hogwarts, and I'm sure I don't need to remind you what a very what opportunity this is. I've never done anything like it before. You sin in front of large crowds all the time. I have only ever sinned in front of now. So excited to see you perform, Barnaby, especially with Selena Warback. This is absolutely perfect. I had a feeling you would lead me to success. I have my soloist who can round up back in band and start rehearsal. It's time to begin. I'm sorry to interrupt your rehearsal, but there's something I'd like to ask you. Make it quick. Uh, we only have so much time out here. Your once-in-a-lifetime musical opportunity. You're off to a good start. T tell me more. I celebrate alumni. I just see you visiting Hogwarts. She asked for the fire cry to do a secure performance with her and her backup singer. Two noble guests in one day, fortune favors the frogs, it seems. Rita Skeeter has come to write a piece of our humble little musical group. She's catching on to us, tell me more about this secret performance. I'm not in the habit of signing up the frog cry up for performance they can't prepare for. I'm sure you can trust me with the secret. Perhaps I could give you a few clues. I know the visitor that you're describing in the absence of her delightful banshees. We would be honored to serve as a backup wizard for Miss. We have to make sure we Skeeter doesn't find out, Professor. Doesn't find out about what? So, celebrities are here at Hogwarts, so I need to find out who it is and why they are here for my next story. If that's the story you are after. after. Guildboy Lockhart is here for a secret visit. I heard he was sending advanced copies of a new book in the library. Shouldn't have said that. Someone famous was secretly visiting Hogwarts in a new book. This is news. I'd better go to the library and see if... I can get a word with him. She wasn't here to a piece on the Fog Choir's next performance. But going in Hogwarts for Gilder Lockhart should keep her busy for a little bit. And we'd better get some practice started. And we are just about to start our first rehearsal with the Fard Kyrie backing me. I'll give a stunning performance, just what I need to feel inspired again. Almost everything. But I should tell you, Rita Skeeter is snooping around the last rehearsal. If she's here, she must know something I, I'm ruined. Fans out, I'm here looking for inspiration. She'll tell the whole world so that she'll roll back is finished. And told her Gilroy Lockhart is was visiting, so she's off looking for him. Now she'd buy us a little time for a hustle. Of course, I'll warm up the fire car. <laughs> They sound wonderful. I don't know what I was so worried about. Now to discuss a few things with my solos. 
I thought he was here already. I thought he was here with you. I have lost my disorder. I so my tuskitas out here snooping. Oh, it's going to be too, it's going to be fine. Uh, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. I'm sorry to be so dramatic. After all these years, I still get nerves before a show, but the solo is now a critical part of the show. It's all right. I have an inkling as to where Barnaby might be. I'll bet I'll find him in the care for magical creature classroom. I feel like nothing rhymes with fun. I've been here for hours. I'm trying to rhyme with fun, but it's impossible. You didn't show up for rehearsals. I'm sorry to leave you all hanging, but now I'll seem a bit lonely, so I thought I should send to him. It's not like you to leave people in the loach or what's really going on. I hate to let you down, but I don't think I can do the show. I know you wanted me to perform. Since when do you th uh, shrink from a challenge? Sending for Nile is one thing, but sending for all of Hogwarts is something different. I'll be totally exposed, and if I mess up, every th everyone will know. I'd like to do it, but I'm scared. You're a good friend, and talking with you always helps. I won't let you give me give up that easy. If talking helps, let's talk some more. I'm sure I can help you find a nerve to sin. As always, you're right. The seed will fail. This will make a good story. Still, the idea of sitting up there in front of all those people terrify me. Of course I do, but you don't do it because it's easy. You do it because it makes you happy. Sinan does make me happy. And knowing someone as brave as you still gets scared in front of large crowds, I guess I could feel less weird. That's great news. Now let's get to rehearsal. Uh, if I'm going to do this way, I need some pointers from someone who's used to performing voice will back any more than I already have. Perhaps we know someone else who could help us. Uh, they have helped uh, me before, and they know all about performing. Let's go talk to them. I'll send word and see if they can meet us at the three boomsticks. Thanks for meeting us. You know uh, I love our little chats. Big pe musical performance coming up. He's not used to performing in large crowds. I could really use some pointers. All right. Suppose I could say you should picture the crowd in the, the runway or saying like no one's watching. It doesn't. No, because they aren't in the runway and everyone is watching. The truth is performance all about feeling the fear. You've got to just throw yourself up there and see how it goes. If you want my advice, try not to think. Just do. Then let's hear it. Hear what? Let's hear a song right now. I didn't prepare. I guess that's the point. Catch me off guard. Try not to think. Roll with it. I can do this. I can do this. Me, uh, get up with me and let's give the weird sisters a show. That was incredible. What a wash! I f was terrified and felt so good. Oh, really? That sounds horrifically amazing. Uh, cheese, mate. Sounds like you're a natural. You did it all thanks to you. Does that mean you're ready to go with host now? As ready as I'll ever be, by which I mean ready to not be ready. Then we better get out of here. Let's head back to the train guns.
Hey, you are, and you have bought the solace. I was worried I was going to have to cancel the show. I should have known I, I could count on you. I'm sorry I disappeared on you. I was nervous about doing the solo, but uh, Docos helped me. Thanks to his encouragement and his friendship uh, with the Weird Sisters, I know exactly what to do. All I just have to not think easy enough, not think whatever works, I suppose. Now, if you are ready, there's no time to waste. Rita's still out there, and if she gets whiff of this before the show comes together, I'll just die. Bill and I'll have a few quick words with Bonmi with about his solo, and then we'll start. That was, well, I'm not sure what that was. Something wrong? I think so, I can't explain it. Everyone in the Fog Cry is quite talented, and I love Bonnaby's enthusiasm. Music is a delicate thing. All the elements must fall perfectly into place. Perhaps it's missing fogs. You said the few hopped away, didn't you? We need to replace the fogs that we lost. Uh, we need to do it fast. Where can we get new fogs? I don't know. We could look for the fogs in the lake. That sounds quite time consuming, not to mention too far too muddy. Like, those got to be another way to save the show. We could use fog spawn soap if we just add water. One bow should give us dozens of new fogs. Uh, Alright, then it's decided we'll use fog spawn sp uh, soap to spawn some replacements. I'll head to Zonka's joke shop right now and get you the fogs you need. Wasn't happy with my performance in the front of Celestina before. Now perhaps I can show her what my work means to me. I'm sure Celeste uh, will be thrilled. She said herself that all she needs is a few more fogs. Uh, if you're looking for fog spawn soap, uh, we are sold out. A customer bought the last case earlier this morning. I'm not sure why that matters. If I knew who it was, perhaps I could track them down and convince them to spare a spell. Perhaps I can jog your memory if I ask a few questions. It's worth a shot. Ask away. So, you sold the last uh, soap to young witch with red hair. Uh, Tulip Kosu, I'll admit that name sounds familiar. I'll recall Tulip saying she loves to dump soap into the lake. Suppose we all enjoy habits. I'm not one to judge. Let's hurry to the lake. Don't dump the last bark of fog soap, spo so spawn soap. What are you t doing? I'm he helping Celeste roll back. We need to replace uh, several fogs. For the cryo, we could do it with a bar of soap, but you bought the last box. I'm sure there's more soap som somewhere. It is, it's a treasure. Without the soap, she won't share her talents with all the hoggots. I still need these fogs, all of them, perhaps I think. Whoever they, whatever they are for, I'm sure we can come up with a plane that leaves us all happy. I hope you understand, I normally help, but then this has been all of the sorts lately. I'm hoping for a few new companions who will lift his spirits. Isn't that one bar of soap enough for that? Well, as it turns out, Dennis is quite selective when it comes to friends. May maybe a hundred fogs and he hasn't had any interest in them. He paid absolutely no attention to them. And perhaps soap is an answer to your Dennis problem. It doesn't sound like he needs fogs in his life. But if I give you the last bar of soap, uh, I'll be other ideas. Do you have anything? 
Perhaps he'll feel better if he hands out with two of us for a bit. We are pretty good time after all, and we we are even about to go to a big uh, celebrity. I guess you are right, and I didn't need more frogs after all. And perhaps Dennis and I can help you deliver it. You two go together, I'm afraid I must sit this one out. Perhaps you could mention that I helped. Uh, of course, Albert, I'll tell her immediately. Let's head to Celestina's dressing room. We got you the last bar of fog soap spoon soap. Uh, we have known each other each uh, such a short time, and you have already helped me so much. I won't forget it. It wasn't just me. Talbot helped, and Tulip you remind me to thank Mister Wingo. We'll spawn our new fogs, and time to building. Let's get to work. Oh, I know. I got too excited there, and there's no use getting choked up over spilt tea. We'll have to, we'll have it all, all the fogs we need. Then all we have to do is train them up and get the show on. What was that? Oh no, some of the Sabi's tea must have splashed into a teacup. Exactly, Lily has a fog in her throat. Can you breathe? Good, if she's not choking, we have got some time to fix this. Clearly we need to use magic to get the fog out. Uh, you're right. If we mess up the spell, it could ruin the show, and with Rita Skeeter around, a terrible show would be threatening her career. Uh, Professor Florek, you stay here. We don't want Skeeter to see her like this. I'll hold her to the Charms classroom. I need your help with an urgent problem, what's wrong? A uh, bit of fog spawn soap, uh, got into Wobeck's tea and now she's a little fog in her throat. We thought you might know of a charm to remove it. You were right to know the, the charm. Uh, any pineal is a spell that can clear the target's airways by vanishing a blockage. If you do it right, I don't see why not. It's brilliant, can you teach me how to do it? Of course. You are getting it, you are natural, but before you try to spell on a living person, let me see those wand movements one last time. Be careful to say the not to say the incantation. I'll give it a try. That looks great, I'd say you are absolute just about ready. Your emotions are good, but let's test your knowledge. It comes from the Greek word for which phrase. I breathe. Precisely, good job, and thanks for your help. Now I should hurry back to Celestina. Funny you should mention Rita, she was here just before you. She was, oh no, if she knows Celestina is in Hogwarts, she won't stop uh, until she finds her. You didn't tell her where she was, what, did you? Uh, if she wants to see the sin and sorcerer, she'll have to wait for the show like everyone else. Thanks. I'd better hurry back.
Uh oh. There you are, I've been waiting for you. I loaned a charm from Flitwick uh, that should get the fog out of uh, her throat. Rita's been badgering Celestina since she found us, but Celestina kept the fog quiet. Why are you here at Hogwarts, Miss Wolbach? Uh, I'm not leaving here until I get a quote. You can give me one, or I can piece one together by reading your face. I'm not even sure Rita knows I'm here. That uh, means we have a little time. We can't use the charm alone while Rita's here without embarrassing Celestina, but if we come up with a plan to get rid of her. So if we want to speak, spook Rita, we should use Fog's respawn. That's why I did here. She's quite uneasy around Fog's. Where did you put that Fog? I uh, hid them in the locker. If all the fogs are in the locker, we can trick Re Rita into opening a sudden flood of fog. Should be enough to send her screaming. It's a brilliant uh, a classic prank. Instead of a jack-in-the-box, it's fogs in a locker. We just need to come up with a way of getting Rita to open it. Ple plus settled... Setless, our way memorial, memorabilia. Uh, I bet she'll even try to nick it. Excuse me, Miss Skeeter. If you're looking for information about the show, you'll find the set list in that locker. It only starts, I'm getting nothing out of her after all. Now it looked like a charm, and speaking of charms, now that Rita's gone. Are you ready? Hold on, Miss Warbach. What a relief, thank you. Rita was making the fog in my throat quite anxious. I was starting to kick and scream. I knew you would play an important role in my life. At the moment I met you, you have saved me. And if this show goes on, you'll have saved my career. You have seen me at my best and at my worst. I know you are a member of the fog choir, but you simply must join us on stage. It would be an honor to sing with you. Now, with all that settled, I only have one more question. Yeah. When we take the stage, what color dress should I wear? Red like the fires of creative cauldron. You're exactly right. The red is the color of passion. I can show the audience that my passion for the creative process has been renewed. Now that we have chosen my dress, it's time to give Hoggles the show of their lives. If you were wearing that scarf, you should have went with purple, no? 
We are moments away from the big show. Are you ready? How's your thought much better thanks to you? And now that you have scared off Rita Skeeter, I can pull myself into this performance. We have a chance of greatness, you two. You like it, Darko's picked it out. It's red and like the fires of Creative Cauldron. I'm glad you like it. It's perfect that all of this has come together quite nicely because of you. Again, the chance to sing with Celestina Wolbeck is quite a thank you enough. What's your plan for the big show? How will you win over the crowd? I'm just going to have fun. That's why we are here, isn't it? If you are having fun, so is the audience. Now let's get out there and give Hogwarts a magical show. Thank you, Hoggards. Good night. That was phenomenal. One of my, the best performances I've ever had. Dennis was incredible. I'd say you chewed him right up, uh, along with the rest of Hoggards. I even saw Dumbledore dance, and I didn't know he had it in him. Nice walk. Thanks, Bonnie. I'm glad all... We all had fun. That was the best, most fun I've had with a magical creature all at my side in some time. You know, I think that's exactly what I had lost track of before today. Performing all the time is stressful. It's challenging to try and make each other. Oh, but none of it's worth anything if it doesn't make you smile. You are smiling now, Sestina. I can't wait to get back to work. In fact, I should hurry to make the next train. Perhaps I'll let you'll escort me to the station. There's something I'd like to give you. I didn't expect to see you. I came straight from the concert. I didn't want to miss my chance to say goodbye. Do you know my name? Of course, said uh, you help acquire the fog spawn soap uh, that filled out my back in choir. If you'll tell me your house, I'd very much like to send you a letter of thanks. Glance to Ravenclaw. I'll see he gets the letter, but I'm afraid he's lost his words again. I have something to say to you both, so I can start talking for now. I came looking for inspiration, and thanks to you, I can't wait uh, to get uh, home and start recording. This new album is going to be all about fun and full excitement. There may even be a song about a young wizard who helped me find my way back to my love of music. Perhaps I'll send you both a copy when it's finished. In the meantime, I hope you'll take this token as appreciation. Ooh, a poster from one of my first owls. Toes, I've signed it and added a thank you note. I don't know what to say, then save it for the next time. I, I do intend to see you again, young Dan. Stay musical. Hope you don't feel bad. You almost did it. You almost spoke to Celestina. Sin and Sorceress knows my name. That's quite satisfactory. Until then. Until then.